120 of Florida VH1 headquarters with my co-host Jason yeah. Douglas. Doing the fashion show, the eco-friendly fashion show. Oh, do you want him to? I'll well, see he's very eco-friendly. He is very much so. That's what I thought that hey, meant. Jason, if he... shut up! I want my intro. Oh. <laughs> so, Thanks for having our banter moment. Resident music dude yeah. Jim Shearer. Yeah. 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 Do you feel better now? I do. I okay. do. Yeah. Okay. Can we move on? Go on. Okay. Yeah. And comedian Dan Saint Germain. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. doing it. Yeah. Woo. I almost punched you. Yeah, that was that was almost the end of the interview. All right, boys, <laughs> hands to yourselves. Jason, right. what's happening in the world? Uh, well, uh, we all know that celebrities are in movies, of course, in TV, and now they're everywhere on the internet with viral videos. So I thought what we could do as a panel is look at some of uh, the biggest viral celebrity videos on the internet. Jim, you're so excited. <laughs> crying. He's just happy because it's Friday. I don't know, yeah. Your okay. wife leave you before the segment? <laughs> so this, this, weird. this is the 5432 Celebrity Viral Video Bus. Yeah. Yeah. It's the celebrity viral video that kind of started this whole phenomenon. It's the <laughs> landlord with Will Ferrell. Oh, the yeah. best. And this yeah. launched Pearl. at funnyordive.com. This thing was huge. I think we should have a little look. Is <laughs> that <laughs> Hi, Pearl. You don't have to raise your voice. You pay you. I can give you half. You pay little bit. You're not happy with that language, are you? I am not happy with that language. What? Coming out of a little girl like that. Do you know who her parents are? She's gonna be fine. <laughs> Isn't she now eight or ten? Yes, or... she grew up. Don't you wish Pearl would just yeah. stay Pearl forever, yeah. though? She's like 45. Her dad is Adam McKay. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And her uncle and... is Jeremy Piven. So Ooh. she's she's used to that type yeah. of language and going yeah. to those, seeing <laughs> movies with that type of language she's in it. She's obviously seen Ari Gold at his best. Yeah. <laughs> you know how this whole thing happened? They were at Will Ferrell's, uh, uh, his son's birthday party, and they took a little time out, went to the back room, and uh, Adam's masseuse came over and filmed the parody. And they just shot it as a joke and threw it up and didn't expect anything. A couple days later, it went on Ellen DeGeneres and just went, boof, 80 million hits later. She was good, though, because I'm was. i I'm assuming if you watch the whole thing that she's repeating the line, someone's like, all right, say, don't do it, pay the rent, bitch. No, I think she was actually very angry because this guy was not paying the rent. He was obviously a hoodlum, squatting. Do you think she was an actual landlord? I think she was an actual landlord. Oh, wow. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, okay. that's, that's a traditional landlord uniform. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's have a look at our number four video. Well, this is more of a song, okay, than a video, but this is so popular. It's happening right now. I thought we should talk about it. It is the introduction music to WWE wrestler Fandango. You said it no, wrong. No, you said it wrong. Oh, wait, how do I say that? Fandango. Fandango. It sounds like a vampire is still in the closet, doesn't it? <laughs> Fandango. Fandango. So no, this is this is an example of WWE crossing over into pop culture because I'm not a huge WWE fan. But Shame on you. I hear oh, yeah, about no, these things. I hear about what The Rock does. Set this up for me. What's the whole story? Because everyone's dancing around on the internet. He's a, a ballroom dancer. And he has, like, you know, a flamenco dancer that comes mm. out and takes him down to the ring. And everyone kind of laughed at him, him at mm. first. But the day after WrestleMania, I don't know what it was, people got really excited about him. Right. And they started doing this when his theme song played. Dun, 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 dun. So the thing is, he became so silly and so hated that people actually love him now. Well, the Houston Texan cheerleaders love it as well, apparently. Have a look at their parody of this dance. <laughs> Is he good? He's a great talent, yes. Give him time. Well, yeah, Andrew, give him that, time. He's only I'm, had like one match. I mean, I'm just always glad when there's a new story about wrestling that's not depressing. You know what <laughs> I mean? That's, this is true. Like, 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 every, time I open the news, every time I open the newspaper, <laughs> I open my wrestling newspaper. <laughs> It's always like Jake the Snake showing up naked at a Bed Bath & Beyond or something, you know? <laughs> so I'm glad that this is what's happening instead. A positive wrestling story. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. You know, it made the number nine spot on the British indie music charts. Yes. Number, is there any lyrics in no, the No, it's all instrumental, and it's called Cha Cha La La. Da-da. 
Download that, that on that, iTunes the, right now. The lyrics are how Little Wayne talks. <laughs> outside of rapping. Okay, uh, at number three, Dan, I'm gonna need your help with this. Okay. So I'm gonna need you to stand up. No, and I just leave. No, you can probably, yeah, no, you just can probably run away just like the cougar's no, nest Indian in the back. No, 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 Dan, come back. Dan, where are you so going? You can stay there. Now, I'm going to read you out Wikipedia's definition for our number three. You're going to have to follow okay. on. You ready? All right. So this is a dance move that involves a person shaking their hips. Oh. Shake uh -huh. your hips. I would like to see that, Dan. Shake your hips and bottom in a bouncy up and down motion. <laughs> this is so... Causing it to shake... This is shake. like Cinemax after dark. <laughs> causing it to shake, wobble, and jiggle. What? Okay, what you're witnessing this is... This is the worst tickle. episode of Real Sex. <laughs> this is the phenomenon of twerking. This is twerking? This is twerking. Really? This doesn't look what at all that? like a twerk. I feel like I'm a, 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 think... a woman post-pregnancy working out for the first time. <laughs> Let's, have a look at, Let's have a look at Miles. <laughs> Here. There's not a lot of soul in that twerk, was there? Uh, no, it, it was kind of, it was a stiff twerk. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was, yeah. yeah I, thought, I thought at the end she got right down there. <laughs> there was times where she got into it, but... Do you want to demonstrate a better twerk, Jim? I don't think I could do a better twerk, but I know, I know women that could do a better twerk than Dad. You know what they need to do? You remember that little dancing baby that used to be a big viral thing? Yeah. They yeah. need to get the dancing baby to twerk. Well, you got uh -huh. famous on Ali McBeal, yeah. yeah. They yeah. need to do that. That baby twerking mm -hmm. would be awesome. So hot. Okay, let's have a look at number two. Back in 2009, Jay-Z and Alicia Keys dropped Empire State of Mind, which uh, gave birth to cities and countries all over the world doing their parody of Empire State of Mind. This thing went massive. We had uh, County Cork State of uh, Mind in Ireland, <laughs> Walmart State of Mind, Jewish State of Mind, Queensland <laughs> State of Mind, and then one of the more recent ones, uh, College Humor's Empire State of Mind from Space. I think we need to do a Buzz a State look. of Mind. Superseded Sinatra's New York? No! Is this a Shame big, on you! Is this a bigger anthem That's for New York? This is, more, this is more of a current day New York song, but if you go back in the annals of history, that's still the jam. So do you think this will override no, the never, in the future? No, never. Dan, which one do you prefer? W what? Jules, Pieces of You. So, <laughs> I was thinking about, I was just thinking about something completely different. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I just blacked out there. And this isn't even the best rap song about New York City. What's the best? An open rap? letter to NYC from the Beastie Boys. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Is there any question about that? Did you, no. did you know that uh, a, a songwriter by the name of Angela Hunty, I think that's how I pronounce her last name, Angela Hunty, grew up in the same building as Jay Z, 560 State Street, and uh, she was away on holidays and got um, homesick and wrote this song and sent it to Rock Nation, and they weren't interested. Someone said, you've got to get it to Jay-Z, and she got it to Jay-Z, and he altered it a little bit, but recorded it straight away. What wow. a great story. Yeah, it's amazing. Explain to me what holidays is. <laughs> uh, it's Australian, I don't understand. A, wait, you call it a vacation, Vic right? Vacation. Oh, okay. on a break. I'm Thank sorry, you, so you have to oh, bear with me there. Break from work. Oh. Wait, I was a little confused. Oh. Okay, uh, and the celebrity Lost, viral really. video with the most buzz, of course, is Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe. Oh, this thing went yeah. huge. Uh, all sorts of people were doing it. Justin Bieber started the phenomenon when he paired up with, was it Ashley Teasdale? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A couple of others doing it there. And God, he's so she likeable, was here huh? the other day and she talked about it. And she, yeah. said, she said they shot it with like no makeup and no lighting, whatever. That's why they made everything all black and white so they could hide the fact that none of them weren't any makeup. Yeah, right. I love that. And then the U.S. men's Olympic swim team did it as well. Everyone did one. Yeah. And then, of course, the buzz did it. Yeah, and that's when it became we did it, viral, and that's right? when it blew up, yeah. I mean, ours Just was <laughs> definitely the most fun. Dan, you enjoyed that too, didn't you? I loved it. I watched it over and over again. <laughs> See, at one I point only we... watched that and Army Wives. Those are the two things <laughs> that I'm into all the time. Huge Army Wives mark. <laughs> Big fan. Yeah. I'm um, Army Wives Nation. <laughs>
Too much, guys. Too many hits on that one. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it just became too much at one point. Yeah. Just call me maybe. Okay. Yeah, it was fun and then it was overplayed. Okay. And on that note, thank you. <laughs> Thanks to 5432. <laughs> Twerk it while I'm giving you this outro. All right, for more from Dan, you can follow him at, uh, on Twitter Not at the DS table. This is actually this what I do when I tweak. <laughs> That's a really good tweak twerk. Uh, catch him tonight at 10 on Best Week Ever right here on VH1. <laughs> and watch his Comedy Central stand-up special for Mary May 17th every night. Yeah! <laughs> Chase, leader of the pack on Entourage Ooh. for eight seasons. What you might not know is he's also a huge Earth fan. He started a website for eco-friendly living, and this week he launches a new app called Food Tripping to help you eat sustainably on the go. Take a look. The app that we are just about to come out with is called Food Tripping. It is a solution to a problem of being on the road and having fast food at every exit and not knowing exactly where, if you're in a different place, to find the good food, the healthy food, the local food. It's a growing community, so we need your help. Use the app to make suggestions on your local organic, healthy spots. Um, is this your weekend attire? This is this is. how you I'm going party straight now? to the beach. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. You know it's not going to be that nice here, right? <laughs> I think it is. Is it? it? It'll be a beautiful weekend. Oh God, I hope so. It, 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 like I feel like New York keeps fooling with us a lot. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I have the Weather Channel app, so and I have different cities on my on the app. So sometimes the wrong city pops up, and I'm like, oh, it's going to be beautiful, and then I'm like, oh, wrong city. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I just so don't live there. That sucks. Yeah. All right, so you're growing your hair out. It's a lot longer than the last time I saw you. It is. I'm in my rock and roll mode. This is hippie mode, I think, is what this is. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. I'll take it. <laughs> That's what you're doing now. You're living in Brooklyn, you're growing veggies, and you're growing your hair out. I'm, I'm growing veggies and, and, and rocking out, so. <laughs> Sweet. Is it the way to live? Is that the way to go? Re reliving my youth. Nice. Um, tell me about this app that you have just um, launched, Food Tripping. Yes, Food Tripping is an app, uh, it's a tool that gives you options other than fast food wherever you are. It, is it going to be fast? It, it can be fast. <laughs> okay. But, but, you know, it's better if you take your time, I think. You know, especially if you're like on a road trip and you, you want to like discover uh, places that aren't advertised in, you know, billboards or, you know, road signs, you, you know, off the beaten path. Uh, places and these are healthy places. Well, healthier, healthier. <laughs> healthier. Yeah, I mean, they're they're options, really. I mean, there's so many places out there that you can't discover because you don't know if I take a turn off this road or or, or, or that that exit that you're going to find anything that you want. So yeah, I mean, it's it, the idea is finding alternatives to fast food, and and often they're like local, uh, organic, vegetarian. You can you can click in vegetarian as an option. Um, farmers markets you know, artisanal, just spots that are different. Is there a part on that app where you just pop up and start cooking for me? Because <laughs> that would be really cool. Let's make it. I'll make it. Yeah, sure. I'll cook for you. There's an, an, a oh, see, what are you going to make? <laughs> what, what, what do you like? I, like stuff with food stuff, in it. Stuff with food in it? Yeah. I, I, can, I can work that out. Well, what are you growing right now? Are you, are you, do you actually have your garden I, up? I make a great veggie omelet. Nice. With a little goat cheese, yeah. side salad. And I just happen to have a morning show, so breakfast is kind of a big deal. Yes. I don't think I can get up and cook early enough for you, though. Oh, I think that's crap. more like midnight snack. Like. Okay, well, I'll be asleep by then, but okay. <laughs> our, our schedules are just not going to work for this. Shut. <laughs> I know. All right, you guys, he's staying right here. We got more with Adrian coming up next. <laughs>
Vampire Diaries, Candace Akala, plus Emily Sanday performs live. But right now, this week marked Earth Day, so it's a good time, I think, to uh, go green. And as you refresh your wardrobe for warmer weather, why not think green there, too? Here to break down some eco-friendly fashion forward looks is style expert Greta Monaghan. Your shoes. I'm loving yours. Oh, thank you. Um, now, you, I have to talk about Boston a little yes. bit because you have a bunch of stores there. Yes. Tell, what's happening? My hometown. You know, last week was obviously an awful week, but yeah. this week, starting off new, just the energy. It just came back last night. The energy is unbelievable. People just came together and it's incredible. We've oh. been through a lot. That's this past yeah. week. I'm glad everybody is oh, no. uh, getting no. back Everyone to Everyone there is full of love and looking forward to Fantastic. getting into spring and summer. Well, let's celebrate spring the way we should yes. be celebrating spring. We're going to Next week, big shows. Uh, we've got.